Hey guys, it is Patrick here and I wanted you to know before you dive right into this accounting information systems lesson that the accompanied worksheet is available for download if you head to my website at www.patricklymsa.com or I'll leave the link directly to that worksheet down in the description below. Click on that, download the worksheet and print it out and that way you can follow along the accounting information systems lecture that I'm about to teach. So it has all the notes that I'm going to be going over. All you need to do is write your notes and fill in those blanks. So make sure you do that. And here is your AIS lesson. Hey guys, it is Patrick and I wanted to welcome you to our accounting information systems course where we're going to help you understand what AIS is and what are some of the components around an AIS and why we as accountants need to know more about this particular topic. Now, in this lesson specifically, we're going to not start off helping you understand AIS. Instead, we're going to help you understand how do we study for AIS. Now, AIS is a very different type of course, so I wanted to give you a lesson here on just my perspective of accounting information systems so that you're not confused on maybe why you're not getting it, why there isn't any calculations, why there isn't any formulas to actually memorize and then regurgitate. This course is a little bit different from the other accounting courses that you might have taken like intermediate one or tax or cost where it's very analytically driven by numbers. This course doesn't really have that. It's really based on concepts and understanding how the concepts all link together. So in this lesson, I'm going to walk you through some of the things that you should understand from the get go in regards to studying and understanding accounting information systems. So let's get started with helping you understand what you need to know about this course. So the first thing that you should know is that this course is not necessarily numerically based. So we're not going to be using a ton of numbers. We're going to be looking at a ton of theory and concepts in this course. Course. So accounting information systems isn't like your other numeric based courses. At its core, accounting information systems is theoretical and systems based in its approach. We'll talk about what systems based means, but we basically are taking all of these tasks and putting them together in a system and we're walking you through those systems in place on how we get to point A to point B, to point C, to finally a financial statement at the end of the day for our external users. And so that's what AIS is all about. It's understanding the process or the system rather than how do we calculate what the cash balance is. In addition, when we understand accounting information systems, we're trying to understand the processes and the tools of accounting. So. We're going to spend a lot of time in this course talking about the different tools that we have. Now, I'll tell you this. There are some sections of this course where it gets a it, it's very technical and we have to understand it from maybe an information systems standpoint or an IT professional standpoint. But we're not going to you know go to the zeros and ones of how data and bits are put together. But we want you to understand how the information or how the data is stored and how it's uh, manipulated into the information that we're going to need in an AIS system. So understand that it's going to feel a little bit maybe techy or IT-ish and that's because it is because we are working with understanding how all of that works together to help us do our jobs. Now, when you study AIS, it isn't, isn't about finding a formula or a number. Rather, it's about understanding the concept and relating it back to the system as a whole. So a lot of this course, you're going to find yourself needing to step back and going, how does this topic here relate to the entire system of AIS? So if, it, if we're talking about, let's say, a revenue transaction, how does that revenue transaction affect the entire AIS system. Where do we get the data? How does that data get put into the system? How does the system manipulate it to get us to a query? How does that query help us understand what's going to be on the financial statement? And how is that financial statement going to look at the end of the day to our external users? We have to think about all of that and all of that based 
on one sales transaction. So that's what we're trying to understand is how, what's the big picture to the small little transactions that we are doing as accountants. Now you're not solving for a number or a journal entry. Frankly, I don't even think there is a journal entry in this course. I think it's well, I'll take that back. There may be a journal entry or two, but most of this is helping you understand how the system is built and what things, what tools are available to us for our accounting information systems to work. Now, what you're also going to find in this course is that there's going to be a lot of repetition. So, you know, I'm going to say something, let's say in section one here, and then you're going to find that I'm going to say the same thing in sections two, three, five, seven, nine, and 12. And you're going to go, wait, I've already seen it five or six times, but there is going to be that repetition because that's how accounting information systems work. So in studying accounting information systems, you'll notice that there will be a lot of repetition. The interconnect connectedness of the system creates duplicative discussions throughout the entire course. So because we're talking about this, we all set the link back to something that we talked about in section one or section three. And then because we're talking about this big picture, we have to then connect it with section five, three, and one. And so we're repeating some of the same things that we've talked about because of the interconnectedness of a system, which we would want our system to do. Our system, we want it to circle back around so that it comes back to the very beginning. And that's what we're gonna see here as we talk more about accounting information systems. Now, technology is an important part. Now, when we think about systems or information technology or information systems, you're probably thinking about technology. So it's important to understand what technology's role is in accounting information system. Now, technology is a component but not the entire accounting information system. And the reason why is we still have pen and paper. So think about if you were, you know, um, uh, for instance, in thinking about um, a utility bill. Now, most of you probably pay online, so this doesn't apply to you, but there are some of you that get your utility bill through the mail and you actually write a check. I don't know who does that, but I know there's still people there because I still get bills with a voucher at the bottom and anyways. So think about that system, right? So that is still legitimately a pen and paper. You have this voucher, you have this check. That gets put into an envelope. That envelope gets sent to the utility company. Someone at the utility company is going to have to deal with that. That is not technology per se, that is literally pen and paper. That needs to get into the technology system. So when we think about accounting information systems and we're trying to study accounting information systems, don't always think that everything that we're doing is is technology based. Technology is a tool within AIS, it is not. AIS as a whole. So just understand that because it's going to seem like that, especially when we get to section two, we're talking a lot about computer based technology. We're talking about that. Yeah, we're talking a lot about that and how it affects AIS, but it isn't the only thing that affects AIS as a whole. Now, what is this course all about? Well, this course is actually a stepping stone to an audit course. So if you're taking um, audit later on, you should be taking it after this course. When you're taking auditing, you're gonna need to know how the systems play because if you understand how a system is put together, then you can audit it better. And remember, system isn't always technology. So when we're issuing checks, what's that system looks like? What needs to happen in order, to, in order for us to actually issue a physical check? What's that process look like? And then as an auditor, how do we go in and audit that check? How do we make sure that check is actually written for the right amount? How do we know that it was approved? How do we know that it was cashed by the right entity? How does how do we know that uh, that check that we actually issued was because of a valid expense? So there's a lot of questions that we have to ask in auditing and understanding AIS helps you understand the different roadblocks or the decision points that were made so that you can audit each part of that process in order to substantiate whether or not the financial statements are appropriately prepared according to US GAAP. So this is a stepping stone to auditing. And so a lot of students love to blow this course apart or blow this course basically because they go, well, it's a technology course. I, I know technology. I don't need to know this, but I can promise you if you understand the systems as we get long, as we get 
deeper and deeper into this course, you're going to find that that system understanding is going to be very valuable to you when you're doing auditing um, and figuring out what you need to audit within a system or within a process that the company has. Now, fundamental concepts of systems are needed in auditing and the development of your auditing skills. So there is a reason why we're talking about this. This actually has a direct relationship to what you're going to be learning in auditing. So that's why accounting information systems is a course that you have to take. Now, my last advice here is don't memorize, understand. So many students will try to come into this course and I'll be honest with you. There are a lot of key terms. I mean, in chapter in section two, we've got a lot of really just terms that you have to learn. And when you do that, it's all about memorizing the term with the definition. Try not to do that in this course. Try to understand the big picture. Try to understand the small picture. So when we give you a definition, for instance, or a key term and its definition, you know, you might need to memorize it at the beginning, but you really should understand what that term is. What is data? Well, it's not X, Y, and Z. Data is the things that we put into an information system in order to create information. If you understand the big picture of what data actually is rather than the definition, you understand how that small segment plays into the greater information systems that we're trying to understand from an accountant's perspective. So that's kind of my spiel of helping you understand how to study and how to understand accounting information systems. In the next lesson, we'll kind of start you off with that, I would say, mini foundation of what you're going to be learning in accounting information systems, because really we're going to tackle a little bit of each thing that you're going to learn in this uh, course in just one section. So until then, we'll see you in the next lesson. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. If you're looking for the next lesson, make sure you hit up that lesson right over here. And if you are looking for the entire accounting information systems course, make sure you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com where I have the full AIS course available to you. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.